Mom just ran down there to pick it up right now. The order is in, and the kids have all decided to sit and stare at their devices for the rest of their lives. Hello and good morning. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. It's Saturday. Saturday at our house typically means two things lately. Number one, I sewed masks and I just barely went and returned them. This week, I ended up sewing 100 masks instead of 50 and it was really fun. I decided to start re-watching one of my favorite shows, Grey's Anatomy. I've only watched it one time through and so I was like, let's start it again. So I watched almost the entire first season just while I was sewing and that was really fun. So I went and dropped those off this morning and second thing is in my tank top. I'm in my running shorts and I'm in my new shoes, which which means it's time to run. Not only today are we just running, but we are going to run the furthest that I've ever ran. That seems to be the Saturday thing that we do. We're gonna run 10 miles. We're gonna run a trail that you can take. It's called the Murdoch Trail here in Utah. And it's one of like the longest, I don't know. I should find out about this, but it's like one of the longest trails that you can take in Utah. We're gonna go take that today, but we're running to a location and then need to be picked up and brought back home. We've got someone that will come get us and take us back home after we run forever away. I'm fueling up, I'm gearing up, got everything ready, I hope, I think. See how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't go as bad as last week's did. Last week's was not awesome. Kids are here, they're gonna hang out. Brandon's working while I'm gone. It should be really awesome. It's beautiful outside, it's pretty sunny. Hopefully this is a good run. I'll check in with you guys when I get back. Hello, it is a Saturday. What that means lately is that getting the kids into normal clothes and out of pajamas and off of Nintendo Switches and off of YouTube is a Herculean task, but I am up to the task. So they are upstairs changing right now. We're gonna go do some fun stuff today. We actually are going to double down today because we're gonna be shooting an epic bonus video for you guys. This one is courtesy of Rye Guy and Kruby that came up with this idea, tons of fun. I'm gonna step away, shoot that, and we'll be back to the normal traditional vlog of today. Speaking of Herculean tasks, you guys, I just got a text from mom that she just finished up her run, to which I said, yippee, hooray, I'm so excited and happy, to which she followed up with, yeah, I sobbed. And so <laughs> I feel like there's an update to be had there, you guys. I feel like every Saturday mom goes on these longer runs. Interested to see how that run went. You know, each time she's pushing herself to add, I think, almost a mile to each run, so she goes a little bit further every time. And so I just responded to that, I'm proud of you for doing and trying hard things. Very proud of mom, can't wait to hear how it all went. I know that she completed it, she finished, she's at her destination, and so she's on her way back home now. We'll hear all about the run that ran tears when she gets back. <laughs> hey, the girls all dressed. Look at you. Ooh, you know what? I love your PJs though. You have those fun, silky little PJs. I love them. They're so smooth, so soft, so adorable. Three of them. They're what? Yeah, three of them. You have three of them? I love them. Hey, but I wanted to show everybody your glitter tattoo. Can I show them? Oh, it came off a little bit, huh? But guys, no. look at that. That is a sparkly butterfly glitter rainbow tattoo. That is fantastic. Um, what do you want to do today? I want to go ride outside. You want to go ride your bike? Mm -hmm. Should we get your bike out? Yeah. Okay. Successfully got crew out of PJs, not away from YouTube though. Still rocking the YouTube life over here, but crew looking like a boss. What do you want to do today, bud? I'm gonna go to the bike park. Go to the bike park, ride your bikes? Yeah. Okay, all right. Mom is back from her run, victorious. Oh, I don't know if it was victorious, but I finished. Anytime you finish, mom, it is victorious. Tell us about it. It was hard. It was really hard. I heard that you had a moment, like a <laughs> one of these. I totally had a moment. I actually took a video of it. I'll share it with you here. Okay, guys, we just barely hit 10 miles, and it was hard. Oh man, it was hard. She did it. We we both so did it. Awesome. She's amazing. She keeps me going. I may have like fell into a puddle of tears as we stopped just because it's hard. It's just hard. We finished. We're alive. We're in a different city that I've never even seen before, but we completed it. We crushed it. Yeah. Were you crying in the video? I did cry in okay, the good. video. That's no, good. I want to see it. I want to see it. It was hard. My ramen noodles are almost done though. <laughs> Clearly it was tough, but we did finish and that's the moment, coolest mom. part. Yes. And how many miles was it? Uh, 10, 10 miles. You were adding a mile every single week, Mindy. I that's know. insane. Those are victories. Those are wins. Yeah, those are wins. So we stopped running at 10 miles and then it was like maybe like a quarter of a mile to her mom's house. So we just took a minute and walked and breathed through it, but we finished and that is the coolest part. You did it. Now, I don't know if you say this in your video, but you have a blister to the size of like a small continent on your foot. Yeah, you guys, it's really bad. It's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty bad. It's really bad. Do you want to see it? Nah, gross? I don't know. Some people are grossed out by that. Let okay. us know in the comments below. Would you like to see Mindy's blister? No, uh, you guys, no, <laughs> it's really bad. Like a mile and a half in, I was like, I told Sarah, I was like, I have a blister. And she's like, well, you're in control. If we need to stop, let me know. And I'm like, are you kidding? I am not stopping. But that's so early in the run. It's so early in the run. And then the last, like, the last blister. mile and a half, I was like, I think I'm going to throw up. Those kind of ailments just come whenever you're running. So you just have to work through them. But you overcome those obstacles. You, oh, crush it. Oh, oh wait. yeah. Is it there? <laughs> Anyways. Mom crushed yeah. it. Setting the tone, setting the example for all of us. You're amazing. I need a nap.
we have taken some time. I have held up that couch for maybe like the last like hour and a half and it's fine. I'm really tired. I'm actually like, my body is tired. Mentally, I'm not tired. And I think it's because I have a little bit of caffeine while I'm running and so kind of really confuses my body. My body's like, wait, your body is tired, but I'm like ready to go inside my head. Tonight, we are going to eat out. We do this really once a week and I don't know what we're choosing yet. I'm gonna wait and ask the kids what they want, but it's getting to be that time of night where it's like, what should we order? Crew, hands down, will say Costa Vida every single time. So we'll see what they come up with. I'm feeling anything. I didn't have a super great lunch. I had ramen noodles after my run. For some reason, the salty, carby deliciousness just really draws me in. It was really great. I'm gonna go gather up the kids here in a minute and see what they wanna have for dinner. We just wrapped up filming an awesome bonus video for you guys. Would you rather extreme in-home quarantine edition? It was a lot of fun. So go check that out if you haven't. Just wrap that one up. But now, it's time to move on to probably one of the most critical decisions that we make all week. I tell you guys about this every week and it's funny how much we look forward to it. Almost sad. But we are choosing where to eat tonight. Because on Saturday nights we order out. A lot of restaurants have actually opened here locally for in-house dining. In fact, gyms are opening up here in Utah, you guys. This week, gyms will open. Does it blow your mind to think about going to a gym and sweating on a piece of machinery and then getting up and walking away and letting somebody else come and sit on that same sweaty piece of machinery and then combining that sweat? Regardless, we're getting back there, guys. We're getting back. So, with sweaty machinery on the mind, what do we want to eat tonight? That is a big question. Let's gather the family, figure it out because there are many more options than ever before. I don't think we're gonna dine in-house anywhere. I think we're gonna dine in this house still, but making that fateful Saturday night dinner decision right now. Kids got outside today. It was not supposed to be as warm as it was. It was supposed to be pretty overcast. In fact, it was supposed to rain. But as you can see from Cruz's sweaty, wet head, he's been sweating out there, having a good time. Riding bikes, having a good time out there. But it is time now, as you guys know, what happens every Saturday, once a week, we get to do what? Get to order out. Order out dinner. So you guys, this is what it gets tricky though, because typically all week we've all been thinking of something different that we want for Saturday night's dinner. I know what I want. So I'm gonna have everybody vote what they want. Mom's outside right now with Hazy. She'll be in in one second, but we're gonna throw down our votes and then we'll get Mom's vote. Let's start, since Ragai said here, I know what we want. Let's throw out your vote. I want Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, classic. I feel like we get it quite often. I know, it's just like, I just want something simple. So that is simple, easy, yeah. quick. Okay, I can see all the logic Not behind like that one. Kirby do. what would you like for dinner? As always, Costa Vida. So, I'm not joking. I also want a Costa Vida. Since we've been doing this stay at home Saturday, dine out, no, what is it? Order in, whatever, take out. Crew has said Costa Vida every single Saturday without fail. So, Costa Vida was my second choice. Huge yeah. surprise, Costa Vida from Kirby do. Love it, delicious, never fails us. Mom loves it, good. Not typically my favorite, but doesn't really matter what dad wants. I'll eat almost anything. Rexy Doodle, on to you. Saturday, take out, what do you want to eat? A Little Caesars. A Little Caesars, I love it. Now guys, I'd I did that. Eat that. I would too, I love those years. Kind of did that like on purpose because I had heard them talking outside about which meals that they wanted and I was like, this is just too funny to show how difficult it is to make a decision with a big family on where to eat and everybody goes through this. We have everything from Chick-fil-A, Costa Vida, pizza. We have, I don't know what you would consider Chick-fil-A, American oh, food, chicken. Mexican food, pizza. I mean, we are all across the board, all different types of food, all different types of restaurants. We now need to get mom's opinion. What do you think I think Hazy wants? Has she told you yet? Uh, she wants mac and cheese at home. Mac and cheese at home, so there you go, you guys. I want a restaurant tonight. I want like more of like a restaurant style. I was thinking nothing fancy, like I literally was thinking like Olive Garden or Texas Roadhouse, some kind of a restaurant so that it's a little yeah. bit different than the fast food game. I was feeling that. I know mom said she was feeling five star barbecue, which locally is easily my favorite barbecue joint. In fact, if I need barbecue joint I've been to, it might stack up as the number one. So five star barbecue was on the list. Although last time it took like 90 minutes to get it. So I don't know if we're down for that kind of a wait. We all come together on something that we are all happy with. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, I would want <laughs> Costa Vida sounds good and pizza sounds good. I feel like you guys are almost good with any one of your three. If you had to vote for one that wasn't yours, what yeah. would it be? So of the two that they chose, if you didn't do Chick-fil-A, which one would you choose? I would choose Cruz Costa Vida. If you had to choose one that wasn't Costa Vida, would you do Chick-fil-A or Little Caesars? Chick-fil-A. If you had to choose one that wasn't Little Caesars, what would you choose? Little Caesars. <laughs> Rexon, I love you. Little Caesars it is, you guys. Rexon, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Hazy's here. Hazy girl, what would you like for dinner tonight? We're deciding what we want for dinner tonight. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Five Star Barbecue has mac and cheese, I believe. They have some killer mac and cheese. Okay, we're getting Five Star Barbecue. We're not getting Little Caesars. Just so you know, Five Star has way more than just traditional barbecue. What we love is they have all those fun sides. They have those homemade potato chips. They have cornbread that's amazing with honey butter. They have a lot of other things besides like just regular barbecue stuff. If you guys want it. As you can see, a decision not quite made yet. We'll wait for mom to come in to make the final ultimate decision, have her weigh in on that. I already know she wants five star, but I've got to figure out how we get the kids to be excited about something that they don't necessarily want. But it's thinking outside the box, not getting the exact same thing, because I think we go 
go through Little Caesars, Costa Vida, and Chick-fil-A every single time. I'm trying to think outside of that, do something a little bit different tonight so we can find something that's gonna make everybody happy. That's gonna be the big win. We've got mom in here, and mom, we've gone through, we've taken all the tallies, all the votes. We kind of have the same three usual suspects here: the Little Caesars, Costa Vida, and Chick-fil-A. Which I like all of those. I just feel like I wanted to do something a little different. What is your vote for tonight? I want barbecue. I thought to myself, if we can wrap kids' heads around something else there that they might like, is there anything there that they might like? They have really good mac and cheese, they have amazing pulled pork, amazing beef brisket. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into barbecue. Yeah, no. So if you three and can Hazy. eat anything, you can come up with something. I'll order something for you three, but I'm not ordering three different things for each of you. Okay, let's so go. So could you let's guys all come, come together on one cooking. thing? Come together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, <laughs> I love the conference. Hazy, you might want to get on that conference. They're choosing your dinner. <laughs> that was adorable. Okay, so I like that idea, though, Mom. Five star for us. Yeah, five star, 100% for us. Let's order that up. I am yeah. so excited about that. <laughs> kind of went down in a whirlwind there. We have made the final dining decision for tonight. I don't know why this is such a big deal. I don't know why this is such a huge decision every week. But we decided to divide and conquer a little bit. We didn't want to get three different things or five different things. We were okay with getting, like, the kids something and me and Mom something. So we ended up getting me and Mom five star barbecue. Cannot wait for that. Turns out it's like a five minute wait if you order online and drive there and pick it up, or it was 80 minutes to DoorDash it. Mom just ran down there to pick it up right now. The order is in, and the kids have all decided to sit and stare at their devices for the rest of their lives. <laughs> they have all decided to have Costa Vida tonight. So they decided, they came together, conferred, and they're gonna have Costa Vida tonight. So that has been ordered. DoorDash is going to be delivering that here momentarily. A Saturday night dinner situation has been handled, but there is one last problem because Hazy could not decide on anything, but she did end up specifically requesting ragai home-cooked mac and cheese. She literally said, I want mac and cheese, but I want ragai to cook it. That's like the cutest thing ever. Bro, not only are you stepping up the cooking in home game, but you're winning people over in the house. They want you to cook over mom or me. Over restaurant. And over restaurants! Nobody ever wants me to cook. First of the two dinner orders has arrived. The five-star order mom just walked in with. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have got some of the best fries. Although they get soggy in transport, but they're still good. Their cornbread and honey butter is to die for. Homemade potato chips, brisket, pulled pork, sausage, all the goodies, and then some banana pudding for dessert. Oh, this dinner's gonna be delicious. Costa Vida coming in for the win. The boys ready to eat? Yep. Hazy girl finally got her mac and cheese. Is it good? It's yummy. And it's also Hazy's night to choose our movie. Hazy girl, what movie are we gonna watch tonight? Mulan. Mulan again? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mulan it is. Snuggle time, snuggle time, snuggle time. <laughs> Guys, we are gonna wrap this vlog up for today. Ow, Whoa. Hazy just hit the camera with Whoa. her head. Are you okay? We love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We got a ton of fun coming up this week. We are redoing Hazy's room. Is that this week? Yes, that's this week. Redoing Hazy's room. That's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to show you guys all of that. Crew is going to the orthodontist. Brexton has a talent show. Hazy's starting back to dance. What? A lot of really big Guys, restaurants, this gyms week. opening. This is a big week. We're not Ow. going to either of those, but we love you guys. Come back tomorrow and we'll see you then. Bye. -bye.